Good Wednesday morning, ladies and gentlemen. Alliday Mobile Media. As you can see, it's a coffee break time. Little current update on the project we got going on here. As you can see, we're getting ready to lay some brick out here and box this in so we, we have a, a little bed looking thing and uh, uh, give a little more reinforcement to the dirt that's going on. As you can see, when we water, it collapses in certain areas here. So we're trying to do that. As you see, we're starting to get this filled in. So we bring that slope down and, and get that terraced a little bit. Probably shave a little bit of this corner off here and push it back in that area there. Look at the tomatoes. Look at the tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes, of course. Uh, uh, the best pico de gallo tomato there is. But look at this. We got to we got to give credit to Justin, ladies and gentlemen. He has been working hard. Look what he's done here. Uh, now we wanted to make this area here a composting area and then we were going to plant it because uh, as, as you can see we got a little line up here we, we put a clothesline area here but we can't really plant it because we got a patio looking thing here it looked like there was a patio here at one time so and, and the concrete goes all the way over there so somewhere in here we're going to put a, a, a composting area since we have the concrete pad already in place that'll that'll help us out a little bit uh, uh, I don't know if you saw the pictures that I posted the other day, but check out this, man. They got, well, I don't know. They've probably disappeared now. Mushrooms don't last very long, but we had really cool looking mushrooms growing on top of this tree stump. Uh, uh, but as you can see, the roots here, it's rotted out. So we're probably going to get rid of that. We're probably going to get that pulled out of there somehow. Um, but again, we're going to turn this into a little pumpkin patch right here. It gets great afternoon sun in about an hour or so. The sun will start hitting on this area here, and we'll have sun on this area all day. Uh, after after the lunch uh, uh, time, yeah, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning or so, uh, uh, we, we get that going on. And as you can see over here, the peppers are starting to kick in. Things are starting to kick in. We got a little composting going on in the thing here. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can see that very well one plant we we bought a package of rosemary seed one seed germinated out of the entire package and that's what i was referring to a while back when i told you if you buy rosemary seed always try to buy what they call primed primed has a, a 93 percent germination rate they're usually guaranteed they're a lot more expensive you'll pay like five dollars for a hundred seeds uh, where this here, we probably paid uh, 50 cents, $1.50 for 100 seeds. But there's a difference in the germination rate. You get about a 3 to 4% germination rate on rosemary seeds that are not primed. Primed rosemary seeds, you run about a 90, 93% germination rate. A huge, huge difference, especially if you're in the retail market. If you're not in the retail market, eh, you know, you, you take your chance. One rosemary plant's probably going to be good for your garden anyway. Uh, maybe you want two, maybe you want three. I, I've actually seen people use rosemary as a hedge. It gets pretty thick sometimes and it can get pretty high. You can get about three feet high. So it can be used as a hedge. As, as I said before, it is a, what they classify as a woody stem herb. Uh, it gets, it gets wo woody stem, all right. It, it gets to be like a shrub almost. And it, it, like I said, it'll get about three feet high, about knee high or so. It gets that high and you can shape it and, and uh, manicure it to, to get it to look the way you want. But our spaghetti squash starting to kick in. Hopefully, uh, I'm starting to see a, a, a few buds in here for flowers, but uh, they're only going to be male flowers because I don't see any fruit on the end of them yet. We'll get to showing you how to pollinate, self-pollinate the flowers as the female and the male flowers come, and I'll show you how to identify those later on, probably in about a month from now when they start uh, blooming. For Alliday Mobile Media, ladies and gentlemen, you can catch me on Parlor at Alliday LLC, on Twitter at Alliday LLC. Twitter, very controversial right now. They're censoring the president. So probably you're going to see a max, mass exodus from Twitter because of censorship issues. Uh, uh, Google also in the censorship game. All of a sudden, they're, they're attempting to shape a narrative on the general public and, and what's going on in our political realm right now. I, I hope. You don't get caught up in it. it, it it's a bunch of madness, if, in my humble opinion. Um, we, we, we have a constitution for a reason. The amendments were put in place for a reason. And that will be a subject I discuss 
on my Patreon station. And you can find me on my Patreon station under my name, Aaron Averro. You can always find us on the World Wide Web, AllidayMobileMedia.com. That's AllidayMobileMedia.com, ladies and gentlemen, for Alliday Mobile Media. Let's have a great day, and let's all be safe out there. <laughs>